Do atheists believe that dinosaurs farted themselves into extinction? Do atheists believe that octopus came from outer space? And do atheists believe that monkeys surfed across the Atlantic Ocean? So dinosaurs gassed themselves into extinction. These scientists declare that, quote, the squid eggs hitched a ride to Earth on the back of asteroids. So their best conclusion that their best scientists have come up with is this idea that monkeys surfed across the ocean, <laughs> across the ocean to a land anew over in South America. Hey, what's up? I'm Dallas Wade, and welcome back to another worship service. So last week, I responded to a video from the Christian YouTuber Matt Powell. In Matt's video, he argued that atheists are childish and stuck in fantasy land simply because some atheists have movie and video game posters in the backgrounds of their videos. Seriously, he actually argued that. When you have posters of literal Nickelodeon, Spongebob, Patrick, Squidward in your background, that is such a dead giveaway that you've never grown out of Marvel Comics. I responded to that entire video, but there was one segment where Matt talked about what he believes atheists believe in. I responded to that segment, but while I was editing my own video, I decided to cut it out simply because it was far too off topic. However, I do feel like the things that Matt was saying and the things that he says atheists believe in is worth responding to, and so I've decided to dedicate this video to talking about it. I also feel like this is a good topic to talk about because I think it's something that's a lot bigger than just Matt. Matt Powell. This is something that happens quite a lot. People often misrepresent their opponents by making them sound either evil or stupid. And this is, of course, what is known as a straw man argument or a straw man fallacy. A straw man argument is when instead of arguing against what your opponent actually says, you just twist or lie about what they've said and then argue against that instead of what they actually say. This is something that happens an awful lot in Christian culture, especially when Christians are talking about atheists or evolution and this is exactly what Matt did in his video, so let's take a look at it. But of course, this is the first crowd to tell us that the Bible's wrong. This is the first crowd to come to tell us that dinosaurs farted themselves to death, or that squids and octopi rode on a comet from outer space into our Earth and crash-landed to evolve and to continue their evolution on Earth. Of course, the crowd that tells us that the Bible is incorrect and that Jesus was just a man and not God is the very crowd that believes that monkeys made a sea voyage from Africa to South America on rafts. That they literally surfed from Africa to South America. So according to Matt, atheists believe that dinosaurs farted themselves into extinction, that octopus came from outer space, and that monkeys surfed across the Atlantic Ocean. And not only does Matt say that in this particular video, but it's also something that he repeats a lot in several of his other videos. So clearly this is something that Matt has a lot of confidence in. Despite that, I am an atheist and I don't believe in any of those things. And from my experience, my years of experience interacting with the atheist community online, I don't know any atheists that believe any of those things either. So where is Matt getting this information from? <laughs> Uh oh, stinky. So dinosaurs gassed themselves into extinction. Again, sauropod dinosaurs, they think they actually passed a little too much there. To support his assertion that atheists believe in a dinosaur fart apocalypse, Matt primarily relies on two screenshots from two different article headlines. One of them is an article from Cinema Blend, a movie, TV, and music website. The headline says, scientists think dinosaurs may have farted themselves to death. The other is an article from Fox News. The headline says, dinosaurs gassed themselves into extinction, British scientists say. Now, of course, neither one of these websites are reliable sources for scientific information, but despite that, they must be getting this story from somewhere, right? And yes, they are. 
Both of these articles are referring to a 2012 study published in Volume 22, Issue 9 of Current Biology. In that study, a few scientists calculated approximately how much methane could have been produced from dinosaurs passing gas. The goal was to estimate how much of an impact the dinosaurs would have had on the Earth's climate. The scientists noted that the impact would have been significant, but nowhere in their paper did they claim that it could have caused their own extinction. It's not even implied. The articles from Fox News and cinema blend are just clickbait. In both cases, the headlines say that scientists believe in a dinosaur fart apocalypse, but in the articles themselves, they never actually reference the scientists believing that. And this is of course because there is nothing for them to actually reference. Again, the headlines are just clickbait. The fact of the matter is that no scientist has ever said that the dinosaurs caused their own extinction by farting. Unfortunately, there probably are a handful of people out there who do believe in a dinosaur fart apocalypse, but even if that is the case, it's only because those people saw clickbait article headlines like the ones from Fox News and Cinema Blend, and not because those people actually read the study from Dr. David Wilkinson in the current biology publication. Because Dr. David Wilkinson never said that there was a dinosaur fart apocalypse, and he's the one who performed and published the study, along with Dr. Ewan Nisbet and Dr. Graham Ruck. They never said that dinosaurs farted themselves to death. The only people who said that were Mac Rowden, the journalist, when he was writing the clickbait headline for his article on Cinema Blend, and the anonymous journalist when they were writing the clickbait headline for their article on Fox News. If you actually want to know the contents and the conclusion of this study, who do you think would be a better source? Dr. David Wilkinson, the guy who wrote it, or Mac Rowden, the guy who's trying to get clicks off of it on a pop culture website? Obviously, an honest person would agree that Dr. David Wilkinson is a much better source, but someone who just wants to misrepresent science might would choose to take a screenshot of Mac Rowden's clickbait headline and call it a day. And this is exactly what Matt Powell did. Now, this is already far more than enough to demonstrate that the dinosaur fart apocalypse is not something that scientists or your typical atheist actually believes in. However, Matt Powell does have another piece of evidence which he uses as proof that they in fact do, so let's take a look at it. Uh-oh. Stinky. It's true that evolution theory does teach that dinosaurs farted themselves into extinction. There is an entire scientific paper about how the uh, certain of the sauropods farted to a point where it warmed the environment and then they died from the global warming. And so I actually have here the book uh, that talks about, one of the books that talks about how dinosaurs gassed themselves into extinction. And it's known as The Prehistoric World, the Young Oxford Book of the Prehistoric World. You can get this book online, you can purchase it and have it delivered to your home and you can see exactly where they say that dinosaurs farted themselves into extinction. So here on page 115 of the book, it says, and I quote, the dinosaurs killed themselves off with their own flatulence, wind. The methane they produced caused the Earth's atmospheric temperature to warm up, creating a sort of greenhouse effect. This might have increased global warming to a point where dinosaurs could not stand the heat. I mean, this is literally in a science book. Now, I did not purchase this book and have it delivered to my home. You can purchase it and have it delivered to your home. But I did borrow a digital copy of it from internetarchive.org, and I found something very interesting when I turned to page 115 and found the paragraph that Matt Powell was reading from. Notice how in Matt Powell's video, there is a black bar covering up part of the first sentence. Believe it or not, that black bar is not in the original book. Matt Powell added that because Matt Powell is hiding something from you. If you read the entire sentence in the original book, it says, a scientist from Indiana has even suggested the startling theory that the dinosaurs killed themselves off with their own flatulence, wind. The methane they produced caused the Earth's atmospheric temperature to warm up, creating a kind of a greenhouse effect. This might have increased global warming to a point where the dinosaurs could not stand the heat. This is possibly the most blatant and intentional dishonesty that I have ever seen from a Christian apologist. For some reason, Matt Powell wants you to believe that atheists believe that dinosaurs killed themselves with their own farts. However, the best evidence that Matt can find of this being the case is from a single paragraph in a 1995 textbook, which mentions that a single scientist from Indiana has suggested it as a startling theory. But despite this being nothing but a startling theory suggested by a single scientist, 
scientist in Indiana, Matt Powell, runs with it. He uses the startling theory suggested by a single scientist in Indiana as evidence. He just leaves out the context explaining that it is nothing but a startling theory suggested by a single scientist in Indiana. Uh oh, stinky poop! <laughs> Uh oh, stinky. Another piece of evidence that Matt Powell has of atheists believing in a dinosaur fart apocalypse is from some random YouTube video from 2014. In it, a woman is talking about how she was reading some articles online. I wonder where this is going. The woman mentions that she read an article which said that scientists believe that the dinosaurs farted themselves into extinction. Did the dinosaurs fart themselves to extinction? You know, I've been thinking about this. So I googled it, and sure enough, British scientists are now claiming that dinosaurs Dinosaurs did fart themselves into extinction. Like I said, the only people who believe in a dinosaur fart apocalypse are people who saw those clickbait article headlines but didn't bother looking into the study that they were referencing. Also, the woman in this random YouTube video, whose name is Autumn Oceans, by the way, never said that she was an atheist. In fact, in another video of hers, she said that she isn't religious, but that she is spiritual. In other words, she is not an atheist. Which brings me to uh, another, um, should I say, thought, which is who Jesus was. I'm not a religious person, so don't take it the wrong way. However, I'm spiritual, and <clears throat> the thing I, I'd like to say is um, what I feel is there are a lot of quotes in the Bible that I feel are very honest and straightforward, it's just people don't know how to interpret it. Uh oh. Stinky. I know that I've already been over a lot, but I do want to be 100% thorough here. So while it isn't much, Matt Powell does have one more piece of evidence that he uses as proof of atheists believing in a dinosaur fart apocalypse. It's a clip from an interview with Killian Bowen. Killian is a director of the American Atheist Organization. In the interview, Matt told Killian that scientists believe that the dinosaurs farted themselves into extinction. This put Killian in a position where they likely felt the need to defend it, and so they tried to. If you type in dinosaurs farted themselves to death, the first thing that pops up is an article uh, from Fox News back in 2015. It was written, I think, in 2012, but in 2015, they revised the article. And the, the title of the article is Dinosaurs Gat Themselves Into Extinction. <laughs> and so, <laughs> yeah, I know it sounds a little, little crazy to me, but I didn't know if there's people that actually really believe this. I know there's a lot of people who have said, yes, we really do believe it, and they've explained why. And so, is that information that you, you know, maybe A, currently accept, or B would have to consider, or C um, have a reason to consider in the present? Um, so um, I definitely think the climate change killing the dinosaurs is a simpler explanation of how they died. Um, <laughs> So the, in, the in the model, though, it says that they suited to the point where it did warm the environment and that they died from the global warming. <laughs> so to me, I, it does sound a little hilarious. But yeah, climate change, for sure. I mean, it sounds funny, but if that, you know, that's the simplest explanation that we have right now, which I mean, I think there were so many dinosaurs that it increased the amount of carbon in the atmosphere and that caused, you know, warming. I think that would be a simpler explanation of, how, of what happened. If Killian actually does believe in a dinosaur fart apocalypse, then I strongly disagree with them. However, I highly doubt that this is actually the case. In the beginning of this clip, Matt tells Killian that this is what scientists believe in, and he presents it as though it's a matter of fact, when in fact it is not. Killian then proceeds to defend the science, pre presumably under the assumption that Matt is telling the truth when he is not. And I assume this is what Matt was hoping for, because this is what Matt does a lot in his interviews and debates. 
Matt likes to introduce a topic like this one and tell the person that this is what science teaches, even when that isn't the case. And chances are the other person doesn't know anything about the topic because, well, it isn't science. And since the person is being put on the spot, they don't have a chance to fact check Matt. So they have two options. Either they can say, I don't know anything about this, which Matt will then use to make them sound ignorant, or they can stumble around and try to defend something that they don't know anything about, which Matt will then use as as evidence that atheists actually do believe in his strawman version of science. And from what little context I have, this seems to be what happened in the interview with Killian Bowen. Uh oh. Stinky. So no, scientists do not believe that the dinosaurs farted themselves into extinction. In fact, scientists are more than happy to talk about what they think happened to the dinosaurs. In fact, they talk about their theories all over the place, not just in a single paragraph from a 1995 textbook, where a single scientist from Indiana suggests their startling theory. Some scientists do believe that climate change may have led to the extinction of many of the dinosaurs, but they do not believe that this climate change was caused by dinosaurs passing gas. They believe instead that it was caused by major volcanic eruptions, specifically a few supervolcanoes located in India. They believe that these volcanoes may have erupted during the time of the dinosaurs, releasing poisonous gases into the air, making the climate inhospitable to many of the dinosaurs. The overwhelming majority of scientists believe that the dinosaurs were killed off by a massive asteroid, which struck the Earth at the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. There's still a massive crater there. It's about 93 miles miles in diameter and 12 miles deep. And the more this crater is studied, the more it leads scientists to believe that this is in fact what killed the dinosaurs. That is what scientists actually believe happened to the dinosaurs. It's not hard to find this information. And for the most part, that is what most atheists and theists believe happened as well, because that is what the evidence seemed to suggest happened. I honestly don't know why Matt wants to say that atheists believe in a dinosaur fart apocalypse when it is evidently not the case. I would like to give him the benefit of the doubt and say that he is just mistaken here, but based on what I found while making this video, and based on some of his past actions, it's hard to say that Matt is being anything other than intentionally dishonest. Matt has been corrected so many times on so many things, and yet he continues to share the same misinformation, especially misinformation regarding atheists. Matt, if you want to argue against atheism, I think that's fine. I think that's great. I think it's important that everyone have their beliefs challenged. I think everyone is better as a result of it. But if you're going to argue against atheism, why not argue against what atheists actually believe in instead of just making up stuff and arguing against that? If you are so right and atheists are so wrong, then why can't you argue against atheists honestly? Why do you have to resort to such absurd straw men? And whatever happened to Christians being Christ-like? I thought that was the entire point of Christianity. Among many of Jesus's genuinely great teachings, one of them was honesty truthfulness. And I don't think that misrepresenting or strawmanning your opponents is very honest. I think it is, in fact, inherently dishonest. We're dealing with a crowd of people that are literally stuck in their childhood, and they've never grown out of it. But of course, this is the first crowd to tell us that the Bible's wrong. This is the first crowd to come to tell us that dinosaurs farted themselves to death. Uh-oh. Stinky. I initially planned on talking about the alien octopuses and the surfing monkeys in this video, but the farting dinosaurs ran a little bit longer than I anticipated, so I'm going to have to split this video up into three different parts. So if you do want to hear me talk about alien octopi, then make sure you subscribe and activate the bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload that video. I'll either be uploading the alien octopus video next week or the following week. I have several other videos in the works right now that I really do want to get out, so I might be uploading one of them next week, either that or the alien octopus video. I'm not 100% sure right now. But either way, I will be talking about alien octopus and surfing monkeys in future videos, so make sure you're subscribed and make sure you activate the bell icon. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next worship service.
Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Also subscribe and activate that little bell icon if you haven't already. Go follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook if you'd like to keep up with me behind the scenes. And if you'd like to help support what I do, you can pledge to my Patreon or leave me a tip on Cash App. Links and information for all of that stuff is in the description down below. Thank you for all of your support, and I'll see you in the next worship service. Night, night in my dream.